Hello guys and welcome to a new Still Division video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you mission 2 of the Atlantic Wall campaign, Pegasus Bridge. The mission order is as follows. Oberst Rauch, the British paratroopers holding the bridge at Benneville are now isolated from the main beachhead. This is an opportunity to wipe them out, which we won't get again. Your objectives are to attack and retake that bridge from them before they can be reinforced by commandos and more airborne troops coming in from Merville. Main objective is secure the on bridge. Jump straight in. Our delaying action has given the 736th Grenadier Regiment enough time to re-establish a line of defense inland, allowing our Kampfgruppe to regroup in reserve. But Major von Luck's situation east of the Orn isn't going as well. His counterattack has stalled and is finding himself under increasing pressure from incoming paratroopers. Oberst Opel's movements have been heavily hampered by Allied bombing and resistance sabotage. Only a handful of his panzers have been able to reach their assembly area. The rest are still delayed south of Caen. It befalls us to remedy their absence. Our orders are to move east of the Orn and support Major from Luke's renewed offensive. The objective remains the same. Recapture the bridges at Benouville. British paratroopers are stubbornly defending every access to the Orn bridges. They are lightly equipped, although they have salvaged and turned against us one of our PRK-40s from the bridge's garrison. Besides, any unit which managed to slip through our net this morning can be expected to have reinforced them. With each passing hour, the British are receiving reinforcements. Major von Luck's men have even encountered some light airborne tanks. Our own reconnaissance battalion has reinforced us, as well as some artillery elements. But reports indicate that British commandos have managed to take foot east of the Orn and are moving with some tank support towards the bridge to relieve the paratroopers. Speed is of the essence here, Herr Major. The longer it takes to secure the bridge, the stronger the enemy resistance will become. We must secure those bridges without delay. Prepare the commandos' reinforcements. Compose your battle group. I was wondering if that compose your battle group part was going to pop up, but uh, there we go. We are set up for our next mission. We need to secure the Orn Bridges, which is these two lovely bridges here. I believe Pegasus Bridge is back over here. But we don't fight over that. We just need to take the first two bridges here and then we can push across to that one. Right, let's uh, compose our battle group. We will face a great number of elite paratroopers with anti-tank guns. Our recon units should detect them and avoid being ambushed. With its 20mm gun, the SPW-231 is well suited to clear the way. I think I'm just going to take the Aufklader in the 222s, to be honest, because they do have that two-star veterancy This is really good for ripping apart infantry. And then some Spätrope, just in case I need them. Survivors from the Oysterham garrison have been attached to our battle group. Grenadiers and Osttruppen are lighter equipped than our own Panzergrenadiers, but they are welcome reinforcement. Taking advantage of cover as much as possible, our infantry should be able to advance on Pegasus Bridge, hidden from enemy artillery and machine guns. But beware those red devils, they are deadly in close range battle. I'm going to bring in the Osttruppen for the most part. Um, with a, two squads of uh, the Panzergrenfuhrer again, two cards of those, because I think like having the command is just like so damn important. Uh, then we have two units of Panzergrenz and the Pioneers. That should be more than enough. 
We have received some veteran Panzer IV and tank commanders. They are more powerful than any allied armor in the sector. They are also very precious. We can't afford to lose them to close-range AT weapons. We should pay particular attention to that Pack 40 the Brits have captured near the bridge. All right, so we have Panzer 4Gs and Panzer 4Hs now. Panzer 4Gs are pretty decent for engaging enemy tanks at long range, but I think the Panzer 4s are just way more reliable. So I think I'm just going to go for Panzer 35S and the Panzer 4H. Yeah, these things have that extra bit of armor that just makes them tougher against the light vehicles, like Tetrarchs and stuff. Panzer 4C and SPW-233 with their short-barreled 75mm guns are very good fire support units. Use them against the British infantry, but don't let the paratroopers engage them at close range. I think this is a decent setup here. The two sets of the Panzer 4Cs, these are really, really useful for destroying infantry, as the lovely guy mentioned. And... Also, the 259s are also fantastic for that role and very cheap. So, yeah, we'll bring those in. Anti tank. I think we'll just focus on Panzer Rex again and maybe the Pack 38. So, I don't think we're coming up against anything extremely heavy. So, I think that will do maybe the Pack 40s later on as well, just in case. Anti air. Going to get those Flak 36s for sure in Phase B and the Flak 41 that we saved from the first mission. And then some Flak 38s in the first part won't go amiss. I'm going to bring them in the U-304 Flak so they can help out with some infantry engagements. Our artillery can weaken the enemy defences around the bridge. We can also suppress or even destroy enemy guns once we have spotted them. Well, the Ryanwerfers are actually really good. So I'm going to bring in the Ryanwerfer and I'm going to bring in the Wielfachwerfer. The Wielfachwerfer can help pin down the AT guns in Phase A. But we're going to need something to spot them. So I'm hoping we can get some Storches. Air support yeah. is still limited. Therefore, we'll have to choose. Bombers are your best asset to quickly neutralize enemy guns. U87D only carries four bombs, but is available from Phase A while U-88S, carrying 14 bombs, would make devastating runs, but only in latter phase B or C. Finally, the versatile ME-109G2 with rockets can attack both enemy vehicles and planes. So I am tempted to get some ME-109G2 BR-21s, but that would require me dropping an activation point in order to get them. We no longer can get the ME109G zeros because I had them both shot down in the first mission, which was really dumb, but that should do. If I get the Storches shot down, I'm not too concerned. But I'd like to try to use them and see if they come at us with any fighters and stuff. If they do, I guess I can just set up an AA net and then bring in the second one. We're good to go. We've got 30 minutes to secure the bridge and their reinforcements come in 10 minutes. So... We had better get a move on. I remember last time I did this really quickly, I think. Or at least uh, before the reinforcements even really mattered, I think it was. So, yeah, we'll try and replicate that again if we can. Go for the Aufklader with the two two twos. I'm not entirely sure which way to go about this. I think I'm going to maybe use this road. I can probably push through out here. That would be the best way because then I can sort of exploit the open ground for the most part. Although sort of controlling this area might be a good idea. Let's bring in both of the Panzer IVs early on. Panzer IV Cs. We can actually get four of them, but we'll bring in two. And I'll bring in Panzergrenfuhrer. I'll bring in a bunch of Ostruppen. And I think that's about it. We will need a Wielfachwerfer, and I do need myself a Sorsch. So let's maybe get rid of a couple of these Ostruppen and get that in. That's going to leave us with 15 points. Three units of infantry, one command. We've got the two Panzer 4Cs. Okay, that's, I think that's enough. We'll try to use the storage early on to see where the enemy defences are because apparently the front lines 
all the way back here where we basically deploy. So a little bit worried about that. We'll see what happens. Let's uh, launch the battle and get that recon aircraft out. I just want to check this area first. I move that up and unload. Move this up and unload. And move this up to here and attack move. I might have this one actually go through the town, maybe. I don't know. The British have turned the bridge garrisons pack 40 anti tank gun against us, and they have the cheek to lecture people on fair play. There's no AA to stop me, and it looks like the AI's got another storage, so that's useful. Oh, there are Piats. We're going to have to be very careful with those. That's going to be well annoying. Uh, that means I'm just going to have to throw Ostrupen at them until we find them, for the most part. I'm going to stay 200 meters from any form of trees. We really want to be safe. Let's bring in some more of these Ostrupen. Right, there's the pack 40. Can we get into range of that, I wonder? I'm going to start bringing this over here. Oh, that's a lot of troops. It's not quite in range to attack us with the Piat, I don't think. So I might be able to use the Panzer IV to help us out here. Just gonna hit this with a volley and see if we can just drive through. Maybe we can. Okay, those guys surrendered. That's good. That's good. Alright, so that'll do for now. I don't want to pin down any more of my Ostrupen. Oh, those guys died before unloading. <laughs> Whoops. That's the Piat found, which is good. And that means that my Panzer fours can now move forwards aggressively. Oh, we killed a mortar, that's good. Uh, let's get these Ostrupen into buildings if we can. And yeah, I need to get the Vilfakwerfer on target of that Pack 40 sooner than later. Then I can use the Panzer four Cs further to the right side here. Okay, there we go. We're on target. Bring in some more Osterupen. I don't really care about throwing these Osterupen away. As is probably quite well known. <laughs> Alright, let's now push forwards. And if I'm in range to attack that with my Panzer fours, then I should. Okay, I'm not quite yet. Uh, I'll, I'll just stop my Panzer force for now. We'll need the Panzer Gunfjeller to move up. Uh, we are now reloading, which sucks. In fact, 40 might recover. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Okay, time to move forward to the 222s aggressively. All of these guys need to get on the road and zoom towards the pack 40. Can we get a shot in with the Panzer IV before it stops? It's kind of what I'm hoping to do here. Yes, okay, that's the pack 40 down. Nice. That's uh, probably the most important thing I need to do, because I don't see any other AT guns. Well, at least not yet. Right, those guys can unload. And those guys can unload. Have one move into the building. Why not? Alright. Let's bring in a couple more of these 222s. 
I'm also going to need some supply to resupply them. Looks like the AI's brought up some supply for us, but... It's back here. <laughs> Both of them are back here. Actually, might have to defend this left side. Didn't think about that. And kill off that Piat, please. That'd be nice. Yep, we got it. Alright, let's have one of these 222s move to this left side. Should be able to cover that area quite nicely. Good. Air landing dead, airborne leader's dead. That airborne leader's gone, and we're breaking out nicely. Let's bring up this uh, recon right up to the front line. Uh, this recon should probably be moving forwards. Let's put them in the church, actually. And keep an eye on that right flank. Yeah, these Panzer fours, they are just so damn useful. Lovely. All the 20 mil auto cannon ammo that we need. We can absolutely ruin units now. Our command needs to move up. Why are we not killing that airborne sniper? Very annoying unit. We need to get rid of them. Bring in the other Panzer Fort. Keep pushing forwards with the Osteropen. And now these are reloaded, they can push forwards as well. Nice. Just need to find a target for the Panzer Fours and the 222s with maybe like a source again. I might bring in just a second one so we have that going around. I want to see what's happening on this left side because there is definitely troop movement. There's another unit found. The key here is just to have all of my infantry continuously attack moving forwards. And then the Panzer Fours and 222s on like an attack move behind them. We'll just keep bringing in more and more Panzergrens and stuff to assist. That Jeep supply can resupply my 222 actually. Good. Let's just move all the way forwards here and unload. We're actually pretty close to like securing this. We just need to basically get through this tree line, which is going to be relatively difficult. Any units in the tree line will get annihilated, and then we can just push through with like a bunch of Panzergrands, is what I'm thinking. Go and capture that Jeep supply. I'm going to have the Jeep Supplies just follow the 222s. It might be a bit risky if the Jeep Supplies end up getting like blown up or something, but for now it's fine. Let's move that Panzergram forwards.
And any units that like genuinely get in the way on the other side here, I can just use the Vilfaxwerther on anyway, so. We're doing pretty well. It's just about moving into phase B, which is where the reinforcements are going to start coming in. And this is where I will need to invest in Panzerschrex. Oh, that was a Piat. Yeah, let's not push the Osterupen in there just yet. Right, let's actually target that sniper. Yeah, we'll, we'll target the other side. There's a lot of troops there, actually. Is that like enemy scout? Yeah. Okay. I actually do need some recon here. <laughs> That's another Piat. have the Panzergrenz move in before the air landing wreck my half tracks with the Piat. Always oh, in range of my 222. Okay, he's gone. Alright, pack 40, please. What mosquito pathfinder? He's going for me, Ostropen. No, my poor Ostropen. Ah, uh, it's okay. <laughs> I actually don't care. <laughs> Let's just hit this with uh, an artillery strike. I mean, honestly, my U-304 pack can probably just kill these Tetrarchs. Like, what are these even firing at? This is really dumb. Okay, let's stop feel the fact we're my own face. Uh, let's move that back. And we'll unload that. And I need some more command, so we'll bring that in. Okay, there's another 222 here I can use. Oh, that's one two 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 down. Two 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 down though. I don't actually have line of sight onto the tetrarchs yet, so that's not good. Uh, let's bring in both of the pack thirty eights as well. We cleaned one side out. We just need to clean the other side out. Let's get across the bridges with the Ostropen. Anything that uh, is revealed can be killed. Okay, that's the Jeep Supply dead. But we've done it! Okay, is that it? The bridge is yours, Herr Major. General, yeah. feuchtiger Job done. Please. This achievement traps the British beachhead west of the Orne River. Victory in 14 minutes and 28 seconds. Just like that. Boom. Okay. I'm not sure we lost too much. I think we lost the 222, which kind of sucks if it removes uh, like an availability from that card. 
because those two two twos are really strong. Like for example, <laughs> this one just ripping apart infantry. Um, the Panzer four Cs really really good, but yeah, it mainly comes down to those two two twos. Look at it. Look, they just demolish infantry. They really do. Um, the Panzer four Cs didn't actually do too much in the end. The initial one, yeah, maybe killed a few things here and there. Same with this one. It finished off the pack forty, which was nice. Uh, but killing that pack 40 early on basically left them with no anti-tank. It was just Piets, and so it's just a matter of staying out of 200 meter range. So through that entire mission, we lost two Osterlopen, uh, which were the ones that burnt to death by the Pathfinders. And then we lost the 2 z 2 and the Jeep Supply that we captured. So that was all we lost. That's I thought we lost more than that throughout the mission, but apparently not. Awesome stuff. We'll be moving on to the third mission next, but until then, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.